Hello everyone, this is Arthur Robinson Jr. I am the creator of PowerfulInterviews.com. I want to welcome each and every one of you to this incredible video. In this video, you're going to experience life-changing information that you will not find anywhere else. I'm doing an incredible interview with a great friend of mine. His name is Wayne Palmer. And Wayne Palmer is Robert Kiyosaki's advisor in regards to real estate exchanging. So in this interview, I'm going to reveal to you in detail, Wayne Palmer talks about equity marketing. He also talks about 1031 tax deferred exchanges and much, much more. So right about now, go get your pen and your pad, sit back and relax and write down some notes. In this interview that I'm going to reveal to you with my great friend, Wayne Palmer, in regards to real estate exchanging and equity marketing, this interview is going to change your life. So check it out. You are experiencing a life-changing, powerful interview, and you are hearing it first from Arthur Robinson Jr.'s PowerfulInterviews.com. Good evening, everyone. This is Arthur Robinson Jr., and tonight I have another special interview for all of you. Tonight I have a wonderful person on the call, and he's a great friend of mine. His name is Wayne Palmer. And for those that don't know Wayne, I'm going to explain to you about this incredible man. Wayne Palmer is passionate about relationships and real estate. From the soil of Family Farm as a boy to his 33 years as an investor, developer, and financer, Mr. Palmer was built a worldwide reputation as a master of notes and exchanging. Robert Kiyosaki describes him as having one of the most brilliant and creative minds he has ever encountered and refers to him as a Wayne Manic. As a member of the Rich Dad Advisor team and co-author of the Real Book of Real Estate, Mr. Palmer shares his genius for using formulas, capital, and the principles of exchanging to structure transactions that tap the full power of the property and the people involved. For more information on Wayne Palmer, go to WayneLPalmer.com. And in addition to that, Wayne is Robert Kiyosaki's advisor in the real, in real estate. And that is an awesome resume. Without further ado, I'd like to welcome Wayne Palmer to the call. Thank you, Arthur. Good evening, everyone. Well, I'd like to thank you, Wayne, for taking time out of your busy schedule to educate my listeners about real estate exchanging. I gladly appreciate it. No, you're most welcome. Now, what I would like to know, and can you educate my listeners in regards to who you are, how long have you been in your powerful industry, and what is your expertise? Well, thank you, Arthur. As you as you said in that uh, little bit of a bio clip there, I, I grew up on a farm in Utah, and I've uh, been in love with the soil ever since I was a boy with with the land, with building, with all things uh, related to real estate. Uh, somehow I knew deep down inside, although I didn't know I knew until I was in my 20s, that that's where I belonged. I went into the real estate business at the age of 21, and I've been there ever since. So uh, that was 34 years ago. Wow. Now, I know that you are good friends with Robert Kiyosaki. Can you explain to my listeners how did that wonderful, powerful relationship develop? Well, I, I hope that everyone out there knows who Robert Kiyosaki is. If you don't, I would encourage you to Google Robert or go on YouTube and listen to some of his material there. He's the number one all-time best-selling uh, business author on the New York Times bestseller list, the number three book on the New York Times uh, ever with his book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Robert has taken complex financial uh, subjects and broken them down into very clearly understandable stories and terms that the average person can relate to in their lives and has built an amazing worldwide brand around the Rich Dad Company. Uh, the mission of the company is to elevate the financial IQ of all humanity, which is no small undertaking. But as I work with Robert, I see that he, in fact, is accomplishing that. I uh, affiliate now with people from all over the world who have taken hold of his message and who are using it in their own lives. I can't tell you how many successful people come up to me and say, you know, I was nobody. I was doing, going nowhere, doing nothing. 
until I read Robert Kiyosaki's book and everything I am today, and these are quite successful people. I owe to Robert Kiyosaki. In terms of how Robert and I became affiliated, we first met in 2000. We were both speaking at a noteworthy convention in the, in the notes business, the paper business, uh, hosted by John Richards of the Noteworthy Newsletter um, publication. And Robert was the keynote speaker. I was doing a training class there, and, and it was the first time I'd ever heard him speak. And he was uh, typically irreverent. He trashed higher education and, and financial institutions and mutual funds and all kinds of other things. And our host was apologizing to the rank and file of his instructors afterward. And I said, you know, whoa, 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 wait a minute. This is, this is wonderful. I mean, it's about time somebody had the courage to say it how it is. So my impression of Robert was positive from minute one. I thought he was incredibly courageous. In, in telling the truth about an industry that has whitewashed itself for hundreds of years, meaning the financial services industry. I didn't have any uh, further contact with him until five years ago. Uh, a mutual friend introduced us and asked Robert to come to one of our exchange meetings. I arranged for an introduction there, having Robert come as our guest speaker. And this was one of the real estate exchange meetings we'll talk about in the course of the call today, Arthur, where we sit in a room for three days and essentially play uh, grown-up Monopoly. We swap properties one every five to seven minutes for three days straight, making offers on the properties as they are presented to the group, roughly a hundred different people in the room. When Robert sat in the back of that room and saw that going on, he got extremely excited. He said, Wayne, this is my cash flow game in real life. I had no idea this existed. You know, where have you guys been? This is perfect for my students. And that became the... Uh, the start of our official relationship, he invited me to become one of his advisors, and I've been teaching with Robert and writing books with him and doing all kinds of work around the exchange and uh, creative finance concepts ever since. Wow. That is very powerful. To everyone that's listening on this call, I highly recommend go and get your pen and your pad right now and write down these powerful notes that Wayne Palmer is going to express to you in regards to equity marketing. This is specialized training that you will not find anywhere else. Now, Wayne, you mentioned about exchanging. What is the Real Estate Exchange Network, National Council of Exchangers, and how can small business owners get involved with that powerful organization? First of all, um, let me explain the exchange business and where it came from. In 1933, Congress passed uh, Section 1031 of the IRS Code, which uh, deals with tax-deferred exchanges. That's code, that section of the code essentially said that if you want to move from one investment property to another, you can do so by trading one for the other, and you won't have to pay taxes on, on the gain that you would have had by selling and reinvesting the money. That has been further enhanced in the last 20 years with the um, Starker ruling, where you can now actually sell a property for cash. You don't touch the cash. It goes to an, a third-party accommodator. They hold that in escrow for you. And the IRS gives us 45 days to locate and to identify our replacement property and 180 days to close on the purchase of that replacement property. So that's what most people think of as the exchange business, and truly that is part of the business. But in terms of how we and, and me and my colleagues at least, I and my colleagues um, practice exchanging, it's, it's the smallest part. Equity marketing is, is a... Uh, uh, something practiced by an elite group of, of real estate professionals across the country who focus less on cash and price and more on the benefits of owning the property. So our first focus is on the people because every person has a different set of circumstances. For example, if one person has a high income from another source, then they're going to want more tax shelter. And if another person has tax losses, then, then they might have a different incentive in owning a piece of property. So we first get to know our clients through something we call counseling, asking them lots of questions, spending lots of time with them, really getting to understand what their objectives are and how different properties might work as vehicles for them to accomplish those objectives. And then we go into the room, into the exchange room with the idea.